Sabre 1000 here with you today. I'm just doing a little vlogging and change the light bulbs in this uh, in our 2011 Chevy Traverse. I showed you how to change one on this side. The other side burn out, but so instead of paying $40 for one bulb and replacing it, I'm I spent uh, I spent uh, like $26, I got all four uh, LEDs. I'm gonna change them over to LEDs and see how that works out for me. Maybe she can see better at night. She don't like driving at night. She can't see that well, so maybe these will brighten them up for her. Um, I gotta get these cleaned off. Eventually, I'm just gonna put a set of new ones in it. And if we like them, I'll get a set of LEDs for the rear. Um, but, so, it's not really how to. But I'll bring you along with me. So I'm just going to set you down here. Like I said, I've already showed this in a previous video. Um, but they're supposed to be T20 Torx. But I found out that this side, I'm not sure about the other side yet. I found that this side has Phillips. Phillips screws in them set that up there so we don't lose it now I'm not sure if I can get to the high beam from here or not I'll have to see I can't remember set that one up there Pull this out just like that so I can get up in here here's the low beam it's right here just pull that cap off turn this like an eighth of a turn and I can pull the bulb out. Now, if you saw that video, I gotta take my watch off. I don't wanna get it all scratched up. If you saw that video, I had that wired back. You can use a bungee cord or whatever, but since I'm just doing this real quick, I'm not gonna worry about it, I don't think. So. You don't want to touch these bulbs either with your bare hands. So, what I'm going to do, go ahead and pull that out. There it is. You don't want to touch that. Of course, it don't matter for me because those are never, probably never going back in. Because you don't want to run an LED bulb and an incandescent um, so this is what I got here now this company has been super good to me uh, these arrived I don't know, three or four days before I was supposed to get them I was supposed to get them I think today Thursday but they came in last Friday or Saturday um, this one is the low beam. It's the R0905-H11-US. You get two of them in there. Doesn't really matter if you touch these, but I still don't like to touch them, you know. don't want to get any grease on them. So there's that. Now I'm just going to... It just plugs in. I'm just going to plug it back in and this will go up in and turn an eighth of a turn and lock in. Then I'll have to see if I can get to the high beam. Okay, locked in. 
Um, some of these, if you get the expensive ones, um, you got to do all kinds of stuff. They got um, fans in them and stuff like that. This one, you don't have to do that. You got to add drivers, and it can mess with your system, so be careful what you're doing with these things. This one I had trouble with last time. I forgot which way it went. This keeps the water out, moisture out. There. Now, sitting on my little stool here. Now the high beam's way up in there. It's up in here. See, we just did this one. So now I'm gonna have to see what I gotta do to get to the high beam. Let me check this out and I'll be back with you guys here in just a second. Okay guys, so a lot of people won't tell you how to do these high beams. But what I did was lifted this cover off. It's got these little things here. What you do is you pop that off with a little tiny screwdriver like this and you lift that up and then this will pop out and then you can just bend that up there just be careful so you don't break it or have someone hold it for you and right in here is the high beam see so we're gonna I don't know if I can do this with one handed or not it can be a pain Come on. Excuse me, filming here. She said that to me one time. She, she was filming, we was at this park on along the river and Bruno was trying to take a crap. <laughs> he was halfway done, she just started pulling him. I was like, hun, hun. She goes, excuse me, filming here. I said, excuse me, Bruno shitting here. But anyway, a lot of people will show you this. So I'm going to try to get my hand down in there and to do the, uh, yeah, just step on the bulbs, huh? Great. Is that the new one? Yeah, he just broke it. No, I did not. No, that's the old one, thank God. But there is a new one right there in that box. <laughs> so <leaving>. this is how <laughs> so <laughs> I'm gonna try to get my hand in there uh, hopefully I don't have to pull this out so let me see if I can set you up here without knocking you over um let me see yeah this should be interesting guys <laughs> yeah a lot of guys want to show you how to do this one because it's so so hard to get to so I'm going to remember on this one that angle goes towards here I'm going to pull this out maybe anyway it's off <laughs> There's that rubber O-ring. I'm going to go ahead and take that off so I don't lose it. Put it up there. See, there's, they don't give you much room to work on these things. So I'm just going to set that to the side right there. Out of the way, if I can. Yeah, monkey, I mess with her all the time. She's fun to be around, that's for sure. Now, see. You look this up online, they tell you to take this whole thing out and replace them all at the same time. Now I gotta turn this back like an eighth of a turn. Oops, sorry guys. 
See, there's no reason for this. I mean, this is, you know, they could have made this a little different, a little more room for people to get their hands in. Because if you got bigger hands, you're not going to be able to do this. I don't know if I can do it. And see, you can't get your hand down in here without removing that breather box, and I'm not going to do all that. And I don't think I can get my hand. No, I can't get my hand up in there from inside the fender. Let's try it and see. Not with this thing in my way. All right. All right. There we go. I did get my hand, just my fingers up in there. The hard part's going to be getting it back in. Okay, so I got this round thing. I got my dust cover out of the way here. Yeah, this is ridiculous. You know, everyone who knows me knows I love Chevys. But man, come on. It's the engineer that come up with this stuff. Hey, it fits. Let's leave it like that. Because it fits, because we need the space. Yeah, whatever. Like I said, <laughs> now here's a good view of how this is going to come out here. Okay, so take that, pull that back just a little bit. Now they'll break sometimes. If they break, put some tape or something around them. Just like that. Now, the... Uh, the high beams are R0903-9005. US. There we go. Here's our high beam. And there's our high beam. Now I'm going to clip this back in. Try to get this put back in there. And of course it's got to fall down in there or I can't reach it. Alright, let me get my hand back up in here. If you guys got big hands, Instead of messing around, it might pay you just to go ahead and pull these out, which I think is totally stupid. Especially if you're just putting incandescent bulbs in, it's hard not to touch these bulbs. Come on. And the problem is I can't see, so I gotta go by feel to get it to turn. Alright, there it is. Okay, so now I'm gonna put my gasket back on here. 
I still got the other side to do. So, let me get this buttoned up. Yeah, that's in there. Is it locked in? Yeah. Let me get this side buttoned up. And we'll go over to the other side. And I'll just talk to you while I'm doing it. Okay, guys. So, when I was taking these out, I noticed there was one missing. But I've seen there's actually two missing. Someone's lost two and never put them in. I never noticed that before. I mean, it's not like it can fly out because the hood's down on it, but still, you know, dang. I like to have all the fasteners where they're supposed to be. Now, this thing has the battery on the passenger side underneath the floorboard. So if you want to jump these, if you got one of these, you want to jump start it, can't find your battery, hook your positive onto there and your negative onto there. That's what those are for. Okay, I still got to put the two screws back in here. And then I'm going to move to the other side. Um, this, this wasn't that bad because I could actually get my arm up through here enough to where I got that started. They just, they're kind of a pain in the ass, but you can do it. Um, you know, it's, it's like the damn engineers, they're not mechanics, they're engineers. And they think, well, just because it fits, it's fine. I think they need to have some mechanical know-how and know how these things work and know what it's like to have to work on something like this just to change a damn headlight bulb, you know? It's ridiculous. Because if I was a bigger guy, I wouldn't have never been able to do that. I would have had to pull this whole headlight assembly out sometimes just to change one damn bulb. And I think after it's done, and plus these cars get old, especially up north around snow and salt and you know, things are rusty. I think engineers ought to, after this car's done, they ought to try to change that headlight bulb. They think it's a great idea. Okay, come out and change it. Well, I'm not a mechanic. Not everybody can take their car to a mechanic just to have a headlight bulb changed. You see what I'm saying? I'm an engineer, not a mechanic. I shouldn't have to do that. No, you should have to. See what we got to go through. I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, look at this. If I got to change a radiator in this thing, it's way back up in here. And... You know, I pretty much got to pull this whole nose clip off this car to get to the damn radiator. I mean, just stupid stuff like that. Man, Ford's even worse. Uh, the Tritons, you got to lift the cab, the whole cab of the truck, up at least eight inches. You have to unbolt the whole cab and lift it up at least eight inches because the engine goes back so far up underneath. You can't just pull it out. I know, I've done a couple, and I'll, I'll never do another one after the last one because it was pretty rusty and the cab cab bolts were breaking and cab mounts were rusting and had to end up putting new cab mounts on for the guy because he was like, well, they're that rusty, it needs them, go ahead and do it, which I agree, you know, but so I had to go ahead and do that for him. Of course, I was making the money, but Jesus, man, that was my own shop. And I'm like, are you crazy just to change a motor? It's ridiculous. So I'm gonna put them screws in. I'll get this wheel turned all the way the other way and I'll jump on that side. I may just go ahead and do that off camera because you get the idea. It's the same thing, just in reverse. Well, not in reverse, it's just the other side. Uh, the only thing is, I'll have to use my left hand up in here on this one and I'm right-handed, so ignorant. All right, guys, stick around. Just doing a little vlogging today. Okay, guys, I got them in. This side took almost 30 minutes. This side took an hour. And it's because I had to use my left hand. What is cool is, I don't know if you can see that, a little black dot in there shaped like a Chevy emblem. But you can see in there, and you can see when you're getting it close, but then you gotta put pressure on it because they've got them seals on there. And I just don't have any strength. I don't, well, I don't have any strength in either hand, really. Let's go ahead and turn these on. I'll bring you back out at nighttime and, ah oh crap, it's daytime. Uh, let me see. I'll bring you out at nighttime so you can see how bright they are. Okay, it's daytime, so we're not gonna come on until it gets dark. Let me see if there's an override on it. All right, they're on. I started it up, it came on. So, they seem awful bright. 
They are, uh, what are they called? Um, shut this thing off here. Uh, shoot, I forget what they're called now. Uh, pure white. So that should help her. We'll kick them on after dark and we'll see what they look like. Make sure the hood's down. Yeah. And then uh, see what we're going to get on to next. I ain't sure yet, but let's go do something else. Well, I didn't do anything else but hung out and watch some TV. But we're waiting on it to get dark, huh, Mama? Yeah. Mama's giving Bruno his medicine. Yeah. Yeah, he likes to take his medicine. Huh? He's very good at it. Want to take your med? You ready? That's a good boy. <laughs> All gone. He loves his medicine. He knows it makes him feel better. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Because he's suffered a lot. Yeah, we still got about 30 minutes yet, so then we'll go see how well the lights is. The lights are. Now, I'm not doing it before and after because it wouldn't be fair because we had a headlight out. Right? Yeah. So it wouldn't be fair. But you'll get the idea. I mean, you'll see. You'll see how bright they get. Mm hmm. We'll see how bright they get. And yeah. we'll, what? We could go down to the river. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. And. But we'll tell you guys, you know, whether it's brighter or not, so. Well, I'll be able to go by on that road and it's dark, you know what I mean? So anyway, yeah. Uh, um, yeah, we'll be able to, you guys should be able to tell too, so. Because before they would, they were bright, but these are supposed to be spectacularly bright. But you could tell a headlight was out in that thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I'm glad to put them in today, thank you very much. Alright, we'll get back with you. Okay guys, so we're in the car. We're going to get up here where it's pretty dark and I'll kick you on. Um, so far, they seem to be pretty bright. But I'll kick you on when we get up here when it gets darker. We haven't tried the high beams yet. We're not going to do them until you guys get to see it too. So hang tight. Okay guys, so here's the headlights. Try to get you in the center there a little bit. So, there's a turn right here. So as soon as Monkey gets around this turn, we'll have her kick the high beams on. So far, these things are lighting up everything compared to what they were before. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, we got a car coming, of course. Turn the camera on. Like lights up more than just the road like the other ones just lit up the road we'll wait until we get past this street lamp here you know what I mean the other one just kind of went to the edges of the road this is kind of like clear off into the trees and there's a car coming it looks like oh boy of course turn the camera on Supposed to be getting some storm storms down this weekend down in South Florida around Miami. Um, usually when that happens, we usually get some too, but we'll see. All right, Mama, kick your eye beams on. Oh shit! That's oh, nice. Look at that. You like that, Mama? Yeah. I like that. Can you see better now? Oh hell yeah, I can see. Oh, that's a lot better. All yeah, the you sides can. Of the road. up more like before you could see where each headlight was shining right and this just kind of it just like all one you know yeah yeah very nice mm -hmm. like you turn on the big light. yeah 
yeah, this is very, very nice. I like them. Mm, I like them because my eyes. Link will be in the description. Well, plus the headlights, the lenses aren't that great either. No. Needs new lenses. Yeah. They're not yellowed, but they're they're just uh, they need to be replaced. You know. All right, guys, I'll kick you on when we get to the river. That's where we're going, to the river. Okay, we're at the river. Yep, at the river. Let's see how they look. Looking at the Very nice. Water. Oh, look at that. I mean, that kind of distorts it, but. Yeah. It's very cool. Yeah. Yep, and this high beam, that's high beam, this is low beam. Oh, that's pretty good. Look at that. That's your high beam. Yeah, that's my high beam. Okay. Do low beam again. <coughs> yeah, now do high beam. You can see across the... Lake. It's not a lake. It's a river. River. The well, camera won't pick it up, but... Mm. Oh, very nice. <coughs> I think so. I like them. I like them, too. As long as you can see. Yeah. Yeah, pretty cool. Yep. Yeah. Go. Smell fish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See them signs up there before? Mm -hmm. Could you? No. See, we can see that stop sign now. Yeah. But oh, before yeah. we couldn't see that stop sign at night <coughs> no. from this far away. Mm -hmm. We yeah. would just now be starting to see it, and that was with the high beams. So, yeah, it's um, I'm pretty impressed with them. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll kick you back on here in a minute. Well, I keep. Right, hang on. Okay, there they are. I ever hit the high beams. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> wow. Awesome. All right. There's our vlog. It started sprinkling a minute ago, but. And some lightning, so I don't know. Probably gonna get some rain tonight. I was gonna set the tent up. I should have. Would have been a perfect night to sleep. Okay. Well, I'll kick you back on here in a minute. Okay, guys. So there's my vlog. wasn't much of a how-to. wasn't much of a vlog, but it's what I did today. I got overheated, so I didn't really feel like doing too much. I still should have set the tent up though. Be a good night's sleep. The tent's starting to get breezy out and it cooled down a little bit. So this weekend, maybe tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, guys. Anyway, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye, guys, and take care.